<laughs> I'm about to watch Deadpool and Wolverine. How exciting. What if the movie's not very good? Like, what if it's gonna be absolutely shit? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess we're gonna see Deadpool and Wolverine finally team up, but like, what if it's not worth it? And what if, like, there's no reason for Hugh Jackman to be back as Wolverine? What if it's all just pointless? What if it's just a shit movie? What if it's just fucking bad? But I gotta see it. Okay, I'm sorry, you get it, you get it. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to the Great Ones channel and welcome back to another movie review. And the movie we're reviewing today is basically another Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame type Marvel movie. Yeah, it's another one of these everyone's really excited for. Yes, and I've seen it. Here's your proof. I have seen this movie. Yes, it's crazy. And uh, this movie is, um, it's, it's got a lot of uh, people in it. Uh, bringing back a certain character who we are... Uh, you know, got uh, got badly hurt in uh, his last movie, and uh, he seemed pretty dead. But now he's back, and uh, it doesn't that doesn't matter. He's just back now. Like I said, there's a lot of people in this movie, and uh, yeah, a few have already been like leaked and spoiled and in, in trailers for whatever deranged reason. And it's it's just a crazy movie. It's Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, no shit. It's finally here, Deadpool and Wolverine, being seen as one of the most anticipated Marvel movies ever. You know, alongside No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness, Avengers. Avengers, Endgame, Infinity War, all of those. It is a very anticipated movie, the most anticipated movie of the year, and uh, I've seen it. And yeah, and um, I'm gonna review it for you guys and share my thoughts and what I liked and didn't like, and it's obviously gonna be a spoiler-free review. I'm not gonna get into spoilers. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be very, uh, very careful of what I say while talking about this movie, yeah. So what did I think of Deadpool and Wolverine? Uh, for the most part, I had a fucking blast, man. I had a really, really good time. This really did feel like a Deadpool 3. It really did feel like a continuation of those first two movies. It has that same vibe to it. That same, I don't know, Ryan Reynolds just vibe to it. Like, you know, first two Deadpool movies are very jokey and a lot of, you know, Deadpool making fun of things and referencing things and all that. Deadpool and Wolverine has a whole bunch of those. Ryan Reynolds just doing his thing, referencing, making fun of things. It's all that in this movie, and it really did feel like a continuation of the first two movies. And uh, I felt just exactly how I thought watching those first two movies. I just had a really good time and felt, and you know, I had a smile on my face after the movie was done. And I felt the exact same way with this movie. I would say for the most part, it is really the true multiverse of madness. Like more, you know, with when it comes to the cameos and the multiverse stuff. I think it's done a lot better in this movie than how it was handled in Multiverse of Madness. Like in Multiverse of Madness, it was just kind of like, what, the Illuminati showed up, you know, some cool cameos, John, John Krasinski as uh, Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt, all those characters, kill them off, done with the cameos, moving on with the story. Deadpool and Wolverine, there's a story, but there's also a truckload of cameos and really cool things that we get to see throughout the movie, and it's it's a lot of fun, and it's it's absolutely bonkers. Uh, but before I get into some of my nitpicks and issues with this movie, let's talk about what I loved. Easily one of the best things about this movie is the action scenes. They were fucking awesome in this movie. They were really well done. Uh, you could say whatever you want about the look of this movie, and uh, that you know it's kind of a bland Marvel movie. It looks really bad. You could say that it looks you know kind of dull and bland, but the way the action scenes are done in this movie are really well done. They are really really fucking good. Like down from the opening of this movie, I can't get into it, but the, that entire sequence was so. Oh, I want to rewatch it right now. It was so awesome, and the song playing over it was also really good. Oh, such a fun scene. Uh, even the fight scenes between Deadpool and Wolverine were all really well done. I don't know if it's, it's, I don't know if it's because I really like them because they were all filmed and done in real locations. They weren't just you know computer CGI bullshit action scenes that we come to expect from Marvel. No, these were filmed in real locations. They were you know for the most part yeah they were filmed in real locations and they filmed it with the actors and it was so good. It looked great and. You know, there was even a, an action scene between Deadpool and Wolverine that, that has been teased in the trailers uh, that was that took place in a fucking car. Just a little, a little tiny little car. And even that was amazing. That was so much fun to watch. So, yeah, kudos to the director, Sean Levy. He did a really good job of the action scenes. And, uh, yeah, they were really good. Like, whoever said that, the, that Deadpool and Wolverine was going to have one of the best action scenes that we have ever seen in the MCU before the movie was even released, whoever said that, you are fucking right. The action scenes were really well done. And they were awesome in this movie. 
Uh, of course, we got to talk about the characters, the stars of this movie, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Ryan Reynolds is just Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. He's exactly what we've, you know, what we come to expect from him as Deadpool. He's jokey, he makes references, all that stuff, on and on. He is just fun to watch and uh, we love we love Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. He is just the same old uh, as, you know, as, as, as he's always been. He's really fun to watch and he makes a lot of really great jokes. I can't get into it, but it's there were some re really funny moments. Um, and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, I will admit there were definitely moments where I thought maybe they could have done more with him. I didn't really like the moments where you know Ryan Reynolds was kind of doing most of the talking, and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was kind of in the background, sort of just standing around. Like those moments was, made me go, "Oh man, come on! You could have done more with him." You got Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in the yellow suit. Speaking of that, uh, yeah, seeing Hugh Jackman in the in the yellow classic Wolverine suit was uh, really cool and that was really great to see because, you know, we almost got that in, you know, I think in the, like, the Fox universe, you know, in the deleted post credit scene of The Wolverine, you know, we almost, almost got to see Wolver uh, Hugh Jackman in the classic Wolverine suit. We didn't end up getting that, uh, but now we finally have it in Deadpool and Wolverine. So that was really cool to see. That was, He looked great in the suit. Um, yeah, that was great. And uh, their, you know, teamwork in this movie, their team up in this movie was I would say quite satisfying. It was really great to see these two finally come together and knowing Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are obviously best friends in real life. That made it even more fun to watch. And, you know, you could clearly, clearly tell they were having a lot of fun making this movie, especially Ryan Reynolds, like, of course. Um, yeah, you could just tell they were both having a great time making this movie and it was, it was fun to watch, man. They were great. They were both, they were both pretty great. And like I said at the start, this really is the true Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness without Doctor Strange. Uh, but it really felt like the true Multiverse of Madness. It really felt like it did more of what Multiverse of Madness was promising. Like the way they used the, you know, the fan service, the cameos, the appearances in this movie, I think was pretty well done. I mean, you know, some of the cameos in this movie weren't really ones that I was really like hoping for or anything, but the way they were utilized in the movie, the way they used them, they didn't, they didn't waste them at all. They actually like, you know, had them full on team up with Deadpool or Wolverine and, you know, did a lot, actually did quite a bit with them and gave them uh, the right amount of screen time. So I'll say that the cameos, I'd say, I'd say were really well done. There was a whole load of them. Some of them only went on for like maybe a few seconds and some of them went on for like quite a while and actually were utilized really well. So, uh, yeah, you know, the cameos was really good and, you know, it really kind of made Multiverse Madness look like ass because, like, Multiverse Madness, they just kind of had, oh, shit, we got to include cameos. Okay, uh, Illuminati, a uh, bunch of characters, done. Uh, but this movie did a whole lot more. There are some really cool appearances in this movie, some cool cameos and, uh, and variants and all that. And, uh, yeah, it was really fun to watch. It was really, really well done. There is a villain in this movie. We do have, a, 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 like, a, a full-on antagonist in this movie, Cassandra Nova, uh, who was basically, like, the twin uh, sister of Charles Xavier. Uh, and, uh, she was, she was alright. She was okay. I don't know. She's not my favorite Marvel villain or anything. I don't think I'll really re remember her for really much. But, uh, the only thing I really will remember her for is, like, the way she, like, kind of, you know, messes with people's heads. Uh, it's, uh, it's creepy. Like, the way she just kind of grabs people's heads and what she does with them and, you know, kind of messes with them. It's, uh, Ugh, it's it's fucking it's fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. The way she does all that was uh it was uh that was the most memorable thing about her was the way she just tools with just messes around with people's heads. It's fucking gross. Um other than that, she was meh. She was alright, she was an okay little villain, just But yeah, man, uh, when it comes down to my issues or nitpicks with this movie, I'd say like the first half of this movie maybe moves a little too quickly. Like, we spend no time with the characters that we've all gone to know throughout this whole Deadpool trilogy. Like, you've seen it in the trailers, we do get to see, like, everyone that we've gone to know throughout this trilogy, and we only re really get to spend time with them for, like, two seconds, and then we really quickly move on to the multiverse stuff. So, I wish we got to, you know, I wish they did more with these characters, because we've got, they've been in this entire trilogy, why don't we not do more with these characters? And it's the third movie, like, why not? But I get it, it's a Deadpool and Wolverine movie, so I guess we gotta quickly get Deadpool to team up with Wolverine. So it's not too much of a complaint, I just thought it was a bit off and a little weird, but they were still there, it was good to see them for two seconds, but it was still good to see them. Things I've already said, like, you know, Cassandra Nova, 
was a bit of a weak villain. She was okay. She did some really cool things and the way she like man manipulated, whatever you want to call it, like just mess with people's heads, uh, like Deadpool, Wolverine, and like told with them. And the way she did that was really cool. But overall, she was a pretty weak villain and quite forgettable. I wish there were some bits where they did a little more with Hugh Jackman besides him just kind of standing around and doing nothing. <laughs> that was a little weird. Uh, there was only really one action scene in this movie. I cannot get into it at all. But it was a bit, you know, a little crazy, overly crazy, I guess. And it was a bit shaky and I don't think it was like fully well done. It was fun. It was cool for what we got to see in that action scene. But overall, I thought maybe it could have been shot a little bit better because it was maybe a little too shaky. Um, so that was a little bit, that was okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's really it. I really had a blast with this movie. I guess it was just, you know the story and some of the motivations with the characters, particularly Deadpool, I feel like could have been, you know, done better, maybe, possibly. Um, but other than that, no, I mean, this movie was a fucking blast. And that's why I'm gonna leave it here. Deadpool and Wolverine is just so much damn fun that you need to go see it for yourself. I ain't spoiling anything. I'm not getting into spoilers. I'm just gonna end it here and tell you to go see it for yourself. Uh, especially if you grew up with the Fox era of Marvel movies, like, if you grow up with those type of movies, all of like the X-Men movies and all that, then you'll definitely 100% love this movie. This movie basically pays tribute to that era of Marvel, and uh, it's it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, overall, the movie is awesome. Uh, the action scenes was, were like so much damn fun. Ryan Reynolds was a delight to watch as Deadpool. Uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. It was great to see him in the yellow suit. And uh, this movie does have a few issues here and there, some nitpicks, but it was just so much damn fun. And uh, it was a nice way to fully complete the Deadpool trilogy. It was uh, It was a blast. This might be a dumb question, but do I overall recommend you go and see Deadpool and Wolverine? Uh, yeah, yep, yeah. And that's going to be the end of my review of Deadpool and Wolverine. Hope you enjoyed. The hype is officially over. I don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. Let's, Let's fucking go. And all that shit, yeah. Oh, reviewing this movie really did give me flashbacks of when I reviewed No Way Home many years ago. Like, I fucking, I was struggling with that review. Like, holy shit, like, flashback. And, um... Spoilers. <laughs> uh, yeah, mate, I was fucking struggling. It was tough. Uh, so now I can finally quickly get this review over with and uh, listen to Madonna while I uh, reflect on this movie and not give you any spoilers. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, so what happens in the movie is 